So today we're going to look at how we can create a player character from scratch where you map the controls you want to use instead of using a template like first person shooter template or third person template or whatever so what you're gonna do is uh, launch engine I'm using the version 4.5 and then new project blank map or blank project. I'm gonna use desktop maximum quality, no starter content, and I'm just gonna call it my game. No, my game, my game project. <laughs> Very inventive, yes. It can get a name later on when I know what the game will be like, you know. I've always used to create these elaborate names for my games and then as the game is being developed I realized that hmm, this game doesn't really fit that name anymore <laughs> so it's better to just take some placeholder name whatever inside here we're gonna well at least I'm gonna delete everything I do not like this this is like it's like it's coming with starter content even though I said I don't want any so I'm gonna delete everything and only place a single point light. That's beautiful. Much better. Now I'm just gonna build quickly. And it is done. Then I'm gonna create a new folder. Call it Blueprints. So when this is a new game project and I will create all the folders like blueprints, textures, materials, sounds, music, static meshes, skeletal meshes, particle systems, and so on. So blueprints. So we right click. No actually first go up to blueprints, project settings, game mode, and just create a normal game mode and I'm gonna call that my game project mode whatever that's good next is to create the character blueprint that we will set up character a character is a type of pawn that includes the ability to walk around and that is exactly what we want so I'm gonna call that my player character since I'm in the mood for strange names my player character <laughs> why not just call it my character or my, my player or whatever because I locked my bird up in a room with some music and he's going crazy because he wants to be here so I did this for you guys so you don't have to listen to him <laughs> but you know I understand it because he can get really noisy so now we will set up the keys that we will use to move the character around so go up to edit project settings and then input and here we have the axis mappings so let us add the first axis and I'm gonna call this forward and backward like we could create one called forward that will simply move the player forward and then one for backward and whatever but it's better to just take both of them on the same maybe that's obvious maybe not I don't know so I'm gonna use the keyboard and we're gonna use the W for forward and we're gonna use the S for backward there we go and it's gonna move in the opposite direction so on the scale we're gonna take minus one and we're gonna create some more mappings to move left and right left right right 
right, yes. So that will be uh, A, uh, A, yes, and another one for the D. And one is gonna be one, and one is gonna be minus one. And then we're gonna create another axis, and this one should be rotating, rotate, left, right, and we're gonna use the mouse for this. Mouse X, is it X? I bet it's X, isn't it? It's a little bit strange, but maybe. Maybe, maybe. And then one last for looking up and down. So that will be, I guess, then Y. And if this is wrong, then I guess all of you are laughing out loud right now, and uh, that's okay because I'll find it out anyway. So now we will set it up. So we're gonna go into my player character, and in the graph, we will right click and find input axis values and these are the values we just created so we're gonna start with forward and backward and then we're gonna get player isn't it player rotation Ro get. no 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 control Control rotation. There we go. And then we're gonna get forward vector. And we're gonna get all of these together in add movement input. Like that. So we're gonna put this in the world direction. And that should be it. I'm just gonna check now that it actually works. No, he's flying around like nothing happened. So, if you get that, then that simply means you haven't actually changed your game mode. So to change your game mode, go to project settings again, if I'm not doing this wrong, then find hmm, maps and modes, my game project mode, well it actually was, oh yeah, I haven't changed the pawn, so on the pawn you're gonna take my player character. If that's what well, you're gonna find the one you created. So now, now, here we are, and it can't move at all. Really? You can't move? Then I guess something is wrong. Forward. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's not the values, it's the events. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! Now. <laughs> Now, I promise you, this, this will be it. 
now he can move forward and backward but none of the other ones and uh, that's cool that's cool let's set him up sometimes I just do crazy shit you know so that's how it is now we know what to do so go to inputs axis events axis the axis events and then take left right actually that should be called strafe left, left right but okay and I'm gonna copy these two because I'm gonna reuse them I'm just gonna change the vector as the vector get right vector and then connect it to the world direction and connect the axis event to that one and to the scale value like that and let's see if it's all perfect yeah but it, it moves uh, inverted on the left right because that's the problem with thinking left first <laughs> Because when I think left first, then it's the opposite of what this is thinking because the program is thinking right first. So, again, my bad. Now, it is perfect. Okay. So with these two set up, I'm going to create a little comment forward, backward, left, right. Now we're going to go take the mouse related inputs, rotate left, right. And this one is a little bit easier, so you're just gonna take add controller yaw yawn 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 and then connect the axis values to that. And I'm gonna take the next one right away. Input look up down. Now instead of yaw, you're gonna take pitch. And controller peach. You freaking peach! You gotta modify your peach, peach. Okay, let's see. Can I get a drum roll? Whoa! And you know, if you like inverted mouse, then that's then this is cool. I like it. I like the look inverted when I'm playing a game control gamepad but when I'm using the mouse I don't like it inverted so we're gonna make sure the up down is set to minus one and now it is perfect okay what more he can walk I guess we can teach the player how to jump how about that? Yes. So back into project settings. Inputs. And now we're going to take action mappings. I'm just going to call it jump. <laughs> He actually answered. Okay, so that will be the keyboard. And I'm gonna be as inventive as uh, spacebar for jump. And then first, look and turn. And now we will take input action events and here it is jump and when it's pressed it's as simple as taking a jump 
Jump, 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 jump. So now we will see. Wee, wee, wee. And of course, you can just go into the player and modify, you know, how high you jump and how quickly you walk, and you can do, do all of these things if you want. And uh, next time, I might show you how we create an action button that does different things in the level, but not now. So, have a great day, like and subscribe and whatever you want to do, and take care.